Hello everyone. In the last video, we discussed about artificial intelligence and its various examples in our daily life. In today's session, we will take module 1, Excite of Artificial Intelligence. So first, let's revise what is artificial intelligence. See, artificial intelligence is the ability of the machine or computer programs to carry out tasks that requires human beings to use their intelligence. That is, we are making machines artificially intelligent so that they can behave like humans, they can, you know, think like humans, they can apply the knowledge like humans, and they can do the task or they can take the decisions like humans. With artificially intelligent machines, decision making has increased or become quick. We can solve the complex problems using AI. Even high level computations in maths or science can also be performed within seconds using AI. Uh, see, being human beings, we can do some errors, but since we have fed up the data or programming to the machines, and that machines will always work using that programming only. So accuracy of solving the problem will increase because of artificial intelligence. Now, let's discuss types of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is broadly divided into two types. First is artificial narrow intelligence and second is artificial general intelligence. First, let's discuss artificial narrow intelligence, it is ANI. Artificial narrow intelligence is known as weak AI. Now, why it is known as weak AI that we will discuss in the next points. Second point, it is a stage of AI involving machines that can perform only a narrowly defined set of specific tasks. Artificial intelligent machines can do only those tasks for which they are programmed. You know, we cannot expect any task from artificial intelligent machines without giving any data or programming related to that task. That's why they can perform only a narrowly defined set of tasks. Next point, machines don't possess any thinking ability. They just perform a set of predefined functions. See, we know machines without any data or programming cannot behave, behave like humans. So they don't possess any thinking ability just like humans. Okay, So they can perform only a predefined functions for which they are programmed. Next point, they are not intelligent systems, but they act as intelligent systems. Okay? So these all are the reasons by which we can say that Artificial narrow intelligence is a weak AI. Now, narrow intelligence systems are the systems that are in use today. Okay, in today's world, whatever applications of AI we are using, all are based on artificial narrow intelligence. Like, uh, for example, your Alexa, Siri, Cortana, self driving cars, all are based on artificial narrow intelligence. Why? Because these all applications can work only after giving proper algorithm programming or data they cannot work themselves that's why these all applications of ai in today's world all not even a single one is excluded all are based on artificial narrow intelligence the next type of artificial intelligence is artificial general intelligence or agi it is known as strong ai now, why it is known as strong AI that we will discuss in the next point. It is a stage in the evolution of AI wherein machines will possess the ability to think and make decisions just like humans. See, with artificial general intelligence, we will be able to make the machines with the ability to think, analyze, understand and make decisions just like human beings without any programming or algorithm. So at this stage, machines will themselves act as humans. That's why it is known as strong AI. It is still at research stage. Yes, see scientists are still working on artificial general intelligence. That's why it is still at research stage. There is no example of AGI, but we will soon be able to create machines that are as smart as humans. As we have discussed that it is still at research stage, so we don't have any examples of AGI. 
but soon in future we will have the machines which are as smart as humans it is considered threat to humans by many scientists see as uh, we all know that humans are considered as the most intelligent species on the earth but after this stage we will have the machines as intelligent as humans or maybe more intelligent than humans so it is considered threat to human beings the next type of artificial intelligence is artificial super intelligence it is the stage of ai when the capabilities of human uh, computer will surpass human capabilities in future so like uh, it is the hypothetical ai and uh, at this stage you know machines will become self aware and surpass the capability or capacities of human intelligence and ability so it is seen in you know movies and science fiction books only artificial intelligence should have some of the following behaviors that are associated with human intelligence so in ai system you know there are some behaviors like uh, planning learning reasoning problem solving perception motion manipulation social intelligence and creativity so let's discuss one by one plan see before doing any work we all plan so planning behavior has been given to ai system also so that it can plan also certain things learning learning is also a behavior of human being and we have passed this learning behavior behavior also to the machines reasoning machines are able to solve the reasoning problems but uh, problem solving any kind of problem can be there and if we have given the proper coding or programming to the machines that problem can be solved easily by the machines same way you know motion perception manipulation creativity and social intelligence so these all are the human behaviors that we are giving to the machines so machines will think like humans only when we are passing some behaviors of the human intelligence to the machines so uh, these are the behaviors that a machine should have if it has to be artificially intelligent now let's discuss the domains of artificial intelligence artificial intelligence has three domains first data second computer vision or cb and third is natural language processing that is nlp first domain is data data is at the core of artificial intelligence we know for any artificially intelligent machines we need data so it is a core of artificial intelligence current ai systems cannot be developed without adequate data as we have discussed all ai systems are based on artificial narrow intelligence so they need data so without the data we cannot make any ai system data can be in the form of sound text image or video the data which we are giving to the artificial intelligent machine it can be in any form it may be sound it may be text it may be image or video the next domain of artificial intelligence is computer vision or cb it is a technology that is used for making machines see and perceive the human world as human beings do that means the machines will be able to see what we want it to see and it involves image acquiring screening analyzing identifying and extracting information it helps computer to understand any visual content and act on it accordingly so if we see computer vision in our daily life there are various examples of computer vision like uh, unlocking mobile devices using facial image tagging friends on social media e-commerce sites like amazon flipkart even in banking sector also you no know, facial recognition and biometric authentication helps bank to improve security in medical field also doctors use medical imaging in medical imaging what they are doing they are creating visual representation of the interior of a body for diagnostic and treatment purpose like your x ray ultrasound ct scan etc so these all are the applications of computer vision
let's discuss few more applications of computer vision face recognition it is used to recognize pictures like google photos facebook etc so you must have seen that when you upload any pic in facebook or google photos it asks you to tag your friends so how it happens the person who are there with you in the pic must be having their profile with pic in that app's database and from there only it is taking the data and tagging the people so it is one of the example of computer vision another example is image retrieval it is used for identifying the images of objects search engines like google can use this technology to provide the results of image searched so if you want to know anything about a particular image we will upload the pic in the search engine and the search engine will analyze the content of the image content means maybe its color its shape or any other information that can be derived from the image itself and it will identify the image or provide the result of image searched another application of computer vision is the smart cars self driven cars will need this technology for detecting traffic signs traffic signals other vehicles etc see self driven cars totally works on computer vision computer vision enables self driving vehicles to capture visual data and the cameras attached to such vehicles can record the live footage and allow computer vision to create 3d maps and using these maps these autonomous vehicles can understand their surrounding better and these vehicles use sensors to spot the objects like other vehicles traffic lights and human beings so computer vision enables self driving vehicles to identify obstacles and avoid collision or accident the third domain of artificial intelligence is natural language processing nlp it works on enabling the computers to understand naturally written or spoken languages like english or hindi it will make computers capable of natural communication for example if we are writing in english the computer is automatically going to understand what we are asking for you know there are so many language inputs that can be chosen and on the basis of that we can give data and whatever the data we have given in the form of language the machine is processing that data and after processing that data the machine is giving some outputs so the various examples of nlp are alexa siri cortana google translator and google assistant natural language processing contains two main components first natural language understanding nlu and second is natural language generation that is nlg so natural language understanding deals with understanding spoken or written language for example when we speak to alexa so whatever we are speaking that artificially intelligent machine will understand in the natural language so this is natural language understanding it involves establishing linkage with natural language inputs and what they represent and analyzing different aspects of the language then comes the second component that is natural language generation nlg it involves the process of producing meaningful phrases and sentences in the form of natural language see after understanding the language by artificially intelligent machine it will interpret those words or sentences and analyze those words and finally it will search for the result and that result will be given to the person that is natural language generation so it involves text planning sentence planning and text realization so it was all about the three domains of artificial intelligence and i hope you all have understood this thank you